Imagine, innovate, engage. Welcome to the Leatherby Libraries. Nine separate libraries are housed here, including the Frank Mount Pleasant Library Special Collections and Archives and the Sala and Aron Samueli Holocaust Memorial Library. We will visit these areas later during our virtual tour. The Leatherby Libraries is ADA compliant with state-of-the-art building safety features. There are more than 750 seats in open reading rooms and alcoves and over 130 computers available for student use located throughout the library. The library has wireless technology and power and wire data access throughout the building. There are 15 group study rooms and six multimedia rooms. Through the Leatherby Libraries, you may access over 300,000 items, over 10,000 electronic books, over 135 databases, and over 34,000 full-text journals. When you enter the library, you will find circulation, reserves, interlibrary loan, and reference services on the first floor. At the circulation and reserves desk, you may check out materials. There's even a self-checkout service. Here's where you may also check out materials that your professors have placed on reserve for your classes. Printers, a photocopy machine, and a microform reader printer are located in the copy alcove, and there are several other designated printer areas on the first floor. Computers equipped with scanners are also available. Restrooms and drinking fountains are located in the same place on each floor for your convenience. The Annenberg Satellite Education Information Center houses the Interlibrary Loan Department, allowing you to borrow books and obtain articles from sources not available at the Leatherby Libraries or through the website portal. Non-circulating reference books, recent periodicals, including journals, magazines, and newspapers, are all located on the first floor in the Walther Periodical Reading Room. A browsing alcove houses the library's graphic novels collection, bestsellers, and a selection of new books all available for checkout. Computers are available in the library for you to check your email, conduct research, do your homework, and print from these computers. The librarians at the reference desk provide quick research services. You are encouraged to schedule research consultation for extended research needs. Please visit the reference desk if you need assistance finding a book, journal articles, media, or other resources. The Lewis Family Lounge has group study rooms, vending machines, a money changer, and a declining balance machine to add funds to your Chapman ID card. Oh, here's Randy Boyd, our archives librarian. Looks like he's on a lunch break. Here's where you may enjoy food and drink while in the library. The rotunda area connects you to more computers and is an extended hour study commons with comfortable chairs. You may take the elevators or the central stairwell to access the other floors of the library. Let's take the stairs down to the basement level. The Information Systems and Technology is and department maintains the computer help desk located in the basement. Here you will find numerous computer labs including a Mac lab. Please visit the is and website to check the open computer lab schedule. Classes are conducted in many of the computer labs. Let's go upstairs to the second floor. On the second floor, the Alumni Association Reading Alcove houses alumni publications and comfortable chairs for your study convenience. Here are the Burra Rotunda Reading Room and the Henley Reading Room. Both are large study areas. The unique architectural window design of the rotunda provides welcome natural day lighting. Numerous computers are located around the second floor equipped with Microsoft Office. Oh, hi, Brett. Brett Fisher is our systems librarian. He leads a team that handles issues related to accessing the library's electronic resources. Now let's take a closer look at each of our nine libraries. This is the Doy and D. Henley Library of Social Sciences. All the libraries contain materials separated by format, books, media, and journals. Here you will find materials in dance, psychology, religion, geography, anthropology, and sociology. There are four group study rooms on the second floor, all equipped with whiteboards and tables and chairs and wireless capability. A central copy alcove has a photocopier and a printer. Restrooms and a drinking fountain are also on the second floor. The Donna Ford and Fami Atala Library of Arts and Humanities houses materials in art, philosophy, history, theater, language and literature, among other subject areas. 
On the second floor, the south end of the library is a designated area of quiet study, including the spacious Milton and Rose Friedman reading room. This is the Vernon L. Smith Reading Alcove in honor of R.C. Hoyles. Professor Smith was awarded the 2002 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences, and he is a professor here at Chapman University. The Atala Library of Arts and Humanities continues here. The Leatherby Libraries features six multimedia preview rooms. Here is one of the multimedia rooms. You can view DVDs and videos and listen to audio CDs, or access the computer to connect to a large plasma screen so that you can practice your presentations or hold a group discussion. The Fine Arts Collection, part of the Atala Library of Arts and Humanities, houses materials in the visual arts, including architecture, sculpture, and painting, among other subject areas. Let's take the stairs instead of the elevators to the third floor. Located at the entrance to the third floor, the Molloy Performance Portico is configured for media presentations and showcasing student projects. The Marge Stegemeyer Rotunda Reading Room is equipped with computers and comfortable areas for study, with a vaulted ceiling and expansive views of the campus. As we found on the second floor, computers are located throughout the third floor. There are five distinct libraries on the third floor, each with group study rooms and multimedia rooms. The M. Douglas Library of Music houses musical scores, scholarly works, the Preston Music Media collection of CDs, and other music materials. The Anna Lee Elliott Library of Science and Technology houses materials on science, mathematics, medicine, agriculture, and technology. The John and Donna Crean Library of Film and Television houses DVD films and videos, film and television scripts, practical books on production, and scholarly materials in film studies and other subject areas. The Edgar and Libby Pankey Library of Education houses a wide variety of materials, including books, media, and journals. The Peter and Mary Muth Library of Children's Literature, part of the Pankey Library of Education, houses materials, including award-winning titles. A central copy alcove has a photocopier, a printer, and a microform reader printer. Pankey Library of Education microfiche collection of ERIC materials is housed here. Restrooms and a drinking fountain are also on the third floor. The Leon and Olga Arduous Library of Business and Economics houses books, journals, and media. The multimedia preview rooms in the Pankey Library of Education, the Crean Library of Film and Television, the Arduous Library of Business and Economics, the Elliott Library of Science and Technology, and the Music Multimedia Room are all located on the third floor. The Film and TV Media Room and the Music Media Room provide surround sound and a comfortable screening room seating arrangement. There are several group study rooms, and the south end of this floor is a designated area of quiet study. Here's the Lawrence and Jean Schaefer Library Instruction Room. The librarians conduct library research sessions with your scheduled classes. We also offer numerous workshops throughout the year, including APA, MLA, and Chicago Citation Help. Oh, here's Stacy Russo. Stacy is an instruction librarian, and she's often at the reference desk on the first floor. Stacy also conducts research instruction sessions here for many of the classes in education and other subject areas. Let's take the stairs instead of the elevators to the fourth floor. On the fourth floor, you'll find two special libraries and the library's administrative offices. The Sala and Aron Samueli Holocaust Memorial Library offers a dedicated space for the study of the Holocaust and includes both permanent and rotating exhibits of rare artifacts from World War II and the Holocaust. The library's non-circulating collection includes photographs, documents, oral histories, and rare books, as well as reference works to support research on the Holocaust in its historical context. The Frank Mount Pleasant Library of Special Collections and Archives houses unique collections and university archives, including historical information on Chapman University. The materials are non-circulating, and there are several study tables and a computer to facilitate your research needs. The library administration offices are located on the fourth floor, including the office of the Dean Charlene Baldwin and the Associate Dean Kevin Ross. Leatherby Library's mission is to provide you with personalized services and relevant collections in support of your curricular, creative, and scholarly needs. This concludes our virtual tour of the Leatherby Libraries. Visit us online, and we hope to see you around the library.